Hi, Hi Jay. Lance. Thank you so much for coming. Is it okay Max, to record the video absolutely, here? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't see the sign here. What's the official the name of the place? Institute for Business and Technology. Wow. Yeah. And I think the reason why automotive became one of our courses is because our HVAC and electrical companies, um, our partners like you guys, mm -hmm. they needed fleets uh, yeah. worked on. Yeah, they, yeah, needed yeah. Their, they needed their stuff worked on. So you'll see here we have oh, they just all right. the lifts going in. Um, mm -hmm. This is under construction still, guys. So yeah, yeah. You know, bear with the floors and things like that. But um, this is supposed to be coming through fairly soon. And then I'll show you where the guys are getting their uh, HVAC and electrical training okay. um, as well in the, in the lab environment. Really glad that you guys are able to come out and take a look at the school and um, you know try and work with us because it's difficult for guys to find employment in the beginning. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's a 10 month program, you know, so they're getting a lot of um, hands on training during that time. Take a look. Yep. So, this is about the residential setup. Um, we want to make sure that they can do service and they can go into the, the home, dealing with the customer, um, being able to make recommendations, uh, upselling, things like that <laughs> that are important for, for the company because we help them to understand that it's not just doing the work, it's also the company needs to grow and the company needs to drive, right? So, um, it should be a win-win on both sides. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, you know, they're working on all sorts of different commercial res um, and residential types of projects in here. Um, each each student gets their own, um, you know, kind of Panel. Work, mm -hmm. workspace area and um, a place where they can do their thing. Uh, let me show you some more. Classes are ongoing right now. Classes yeah? are ongoing, right? So you can kind of see that the students work in small groups and that the students work um, with their hands directly on real units and on real equipment, real wiring. It's an entry-level training, right? So we expect them to go out with our partners like you guys and actually learn what really happens in the field, right? We know that this is very different than a day in the real world, right? So, And uh, you can see the demographic is men, women, young, old. So like I was saying about electrical, you know, let's walk through here. This is kind of the residential uh, housing structure. Um, IBT graduates uh, built and constructed most of this stuff. So they're just going through doing all of the electrical or wiring that they would need to do in a typical residential environment. Uh, you know, replacing the outlets, doing all the wiring. Basically taking that theory and that knowledge that they're learning in class and kind of doing doing our best to, to practically apply it. We have definitely have a tool crib and we have all of the tools associated that the students are going to need uh, provided to them. So they get they have their own tools when they come out. But like I said, they're not going to have nearly all of the tools that they'll ever need. We're getting them um, all of the things that are basic, ready for them to get you know hit the ground running and start working. We have multiple partners, you know, and. And we, we also, a lot of this as well is donated from our partners like you guys. Mm. When they get old units, when they have things that they can donate, you know, we, I put you in touch with our business office. They get you guys your tax write-off and so on, your donations and so on. So we try to just be a resource for your company um, in so many ways. Just want to make sure that the, the you know, it's not a hundred guys to one teacher. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That would be... What, what would be the max number? You'll see 30 max. 30 max? Yeah, in a, in a class group. Is it electrical and HVAC combined? It is not. So, so, the, so they're separate. They're separate yeah. programs. You know, they touch on electrical theory, oh, yeah. both of them and so on, but they are uh, two separate programs. Let me show you some more stuff. On the solar side, they do some uh, panels. You'll see. You know, the red solar panel. Yep, green yeah. solar. Like, just because we felt that it would be uh, not providing them a comprehensive foundational education without touching on something as, as serious as electrical in, in, in a solar in electrical, right? And the students have constructed all of, all of what you see, you know, themselves. Yeah, themselves. I mean, under the supervision of the We we'll have to ask our students to build too. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. So, in here we do, uh, they're doing their brazing and uh -huh. uh, they're learning all of that. Okay. Hey guys, come on in. Adam. I know that. I want you guys to start. Yeah, so these guys um, are responsible for one of the local companies um, in San Jose. Now that we moved to San Jose, I'm not making relations with guys. In fact, we're electrical. 
I check electrical plumbing. Yeah, so these, okay, these, these, oh, I guess you got a lot of So this is what we're doing is we have them, they're going to talk to um, a group uh, about the opportunities at their company. And they're going to do that in a few minutes. So if there's any other guys who you might want to invite. You know, um, I wish you had knew who you guys were coming because like, our advanced class took, is on here on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. And the beginning classes is to Monday and Wednesday. And they go home at one o'clock, so they just they just like to go home. But you know, I don't know if yeah, they're all just rolled out of here quick as hell. Yeah. But yeah. on that specifically invited uh, certain graduates. Yeah, right? graduates. Yeah, uh, yeah, because um, as they're still new in the program, right? Want to make. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce you to these guys. You know, Good. they're looking at the HVAC and electrical guys, and uh, we appreciate what you do, see. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna see you. All right, nice meeting you guys. See you soon. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. So, so like I was saying, day in, day out, the school is just rocking and rolling. Like, in and out. Um, everyone is here Monday through Thursday. Let me explain to you that point. Yeah. So it's a modular program. Mm -hmm. So what that means is, say, for example, you, you begin our program in January, mm -hmm. right? You're going to start in module 101, mm -hmm. okay? Then you begin our program in February and you are going to begin your program in module 201 okay. and you are going to progress to module 201. Yeah. So oh, okay. you would be your first day of school and it would be your first day of your second module. Okay. You understand the difference? And yeah, it would yeah. keep rolling. Yeah, so yeah. advanced class. I have same thing with my right. MBA. There you yeah, go. With modules. Yeah, with mods. So, yeah. They, so the advanced guys that Cesar may have mentioned are could potentially be learning Mod 101. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they've already learned. Or two, they can three, start four, five, from two, one, two. 201 and then they can back to the 101. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this is an, a lounge area. This is where the graduates get their break time. So, um, you know, we just want to make sure that you guys understand. We try and create an environment for them that is beautiful environment, realistic. That's yep. our realistic, yeah, yeah. Our, our most important thing. Is we don't want them to be babied when they well, get well, to When I've been a student, someone came from the other companies and introduced themselves as an employer, as a future employer as well. So right. it's like a very important to feel what my profession is needed. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and uh, down here we have our administrative offices. I like to talk about the company, how it works yeah. and everything. And yeah. I like to come like a at least like a once to month, right. once a month, and give a, give a speech. And that is perfect. motivation. Motivation speech, perfect. yeah. Because this what I'm doing this recording to yeah. just to show the other contractors what the San Jose area does have this IBT Absolutely. college, and uh, can you you, you can pick up anyone Absolutely. you to your company. So so um, afterward, we'll follow up and we'll get everything squared away after. All right. Okay. So I want to introduce you to. Oh, hi there. This is Paro Gupta. She's my director, and right? she's the director of career services. Adam. Nice Adam. to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Welcome yeah. to IBT. Yeah. So I just showed them around. They're interested in continuing to partner with IBT. Very awesome. um, and they're excited about talking to the guys today. Thank you so much, Lance. Thank yeah. you for coming. <laughs> Students are waiting for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So many people, how are you doing guys? Oh, hi guys. Why I'm recording this? To show the other guys what you are students are available to have a, your future profession in any other or mine company in San Jose and the closest area. So um, this is more of a campus upstairs. Um, you have a medical program. It doesn't really apply. I gonna, yeah, I opened up your yeah. website. We have right. um, cardiovascular, sonography, medical assisting, and oh, okay. laboratory, EKG. These are more of the classrooms. Just, you know, we're going to have a physical therapy program. So we're building what a, therapy? Building a gym in there. Oh, gym. Uh, PT and. Um, oh, okay. So just regular classrooms. You yeah. Know? Uh, when you come back, what we hope to do is. You know, you could use one of these. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of impromptu today, so that was really good. And rolling with that, being so impromptu, thank you for that. And then, uh, you know, you could have a presentation or do more or do whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. So, I definitely... We can show that. some videos as well. Yeah, yeah. So, more classrooms and other classrooms yeah. down here. Looks like HVAC one. Yeah. How I see it. Yeah, so we have an HVAC. This is where they're going to learn their theory and their practical... Um, you know, information. This is where they'll do their lecture class. Yeah. Um, 
those units up there, you know, the instructor will be there saying uh, blah, 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 like that. HVAC electrical classroom, they're doing, you know, they're doing their climbing, heating contactors and all their transformers and just understanding, understanding the flow, understanding the bread and butter. Circuits. And stuff yeah, all the yeah. circuits. And like I said, like you saw downstairs, um, the classroom environment is the same thing. We try and spread them out so we try and make sure that there's maybe you know 15 guys per instructor if there's more than that 15 mm -hmm. then we bring in a te teacher's um aid mm -hmm. yeah computer room where they can all because one of the things that sometimes uh you know employers have said is these guys have a hard time navigating the computer mm -hmm. yeah maybe they struggle with clicking on things or the typing is archaic mm -hmm. um so we make sure that they're getting a little bit of computer uh, you know, uh, exposure as well. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that we have a committee here and it's our program advisory committee. <laughs> so um, I want to invite you guys both. It's usually a web event, mm -hmm. um, Zoom, and basically it's, it's a time for comments like that. Mm -hmm. What can we do in addition to our current education from the mouth of professionals who experience. I, I, I was I was working with a contractor state license board of California to preparing the questions for the then for the future exams. Exactly. Like okay. with new questions. Exactly. So this type of insight, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this type of insight would yeah. be um, very very From valuable practical. to the committee, right? Yeah, because so, the question were like a very obsolete. This is more of the medical facility. <laughs> yeah, they need to learn the basics in medical, right? Anatomy, yeah. physiology. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Vision examination. Mm -hmm. I need the link from you. Yep. And then I'm going to send it to these guys. Yep. They're all going to start. So yep. you're going to start getting applications like crazy. All um, right. They understand that there's no guarantees. They understand yep. that not everyone's going to get hired. They, they, they probably understand. No less. Right now, actually, we have uh, many... Um, positions, positions. Right. and we have we need right now service technicians refrigeration technician maybe we have to take few guys mm -hmm. and try just to out. try them out and just to keep one yeah and I think that um, that would be great awesome Adam yeah. so great to have you come down Zach yeah all right, all right we'll be in touch thank real you soon thank, thank you guys. all right thank you